Hi and welcome. Today we're going to see how to create and edit Ticket Console Filter preset in Smart IT. So what are Smart IT Ticket Console Filter presets? So each console includes at least one predefined set of filters called a preset. When you choose a preset from the list, the filters are applied to the console. From the universal client, you can also create custom presets. Custom preset allow you to save different filter selections, visible columns or both, depending on the different perspectives that you need for the day-to-day -day job. How to create a custom filter preset. So these are the steps to create a custom filter preset. Let me take you to the demo. Now let's see how to create a custom filter in Smart IT. Go to the ticket console. Say I want to see all the open incidents along with the owner details. Let's see how to create it. From the filter, select the incident, click on apply. If there is a filter that needs to be removed, you can click on the X mark next to the filter, which is a remove filter. So here I'm able to see all the open incident. Now what if I want to add a custom column or say suppose owner group column here. I can select the menu icon here. Click on the owner group, drag it to the necessary position, save. So now I can see the owner group column here. Now click on save as preset, give a name, click save as preset and that is it. The incident preset is created. Now let's see how to edit a custom filter preset. These are steps on how to edit a custom filter preset. Let me take you to the demo. Now let's select the preset that was created earlier from the drop down. Just hover over the preset, select on the edit icon to edit the preset. Now from here you can add a new filter by clicking on the add new filter button. Say suppose I want to add a task, you can click on the task. Now to add a new column, you can click on add new column, say suppose I'm looking for the owner group and the owner company, click on the column names, select. Now if you can see the owner company and the owner group are added. So say suppose I want to remove the SLM status from here, I'm click on the SLM status, remove. Now click save as preset. Now the custom filter preset is saved. Hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.